welcome to Davenport and this is a special video. On today's episode, I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of living in Davenport, plus a tour of a brand new construction property here in Davenport with 4.75% and 10,000 to your closing cost. So you can't miss this video. Welcome to my lovely YouTube family. I'm Margie Caldera, your host and trusted real estate advisor. If you're new to this channel, my mission is to show you all of the new construction projects, the resale properties, and investment opportunities throughout Central Florida. So please don't forget, go like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any weekly new video. On today's video, I'm in Davenport. This is a Polk County. We are southwest area of the city of Orlando. This is one of the most growing cities in Central Florida. And about this location, this is the most popular commer uh, areas here in Davenport. Champions Gate. We are in the Mayor Highway and from here to the house is just a managed drive. So as you can see, there's a plenty, plenty or local places, a shops, a restaurant around the HCA Champions Gate Hospital. It's just literally two minutes behind me is the public store. So guys, and about the intersection, we have I-4 just in front of me and it will tell you, as you know, from the bottom to the top and the whole city of Orlando. So guys, let's get started right away with the pros and cons about living in Davenport. Starting with the pros, Davenport offers affordable housing options compared to other cities in Florida. Growing economy. The economy in city is growing really, really good, which means that there's a plenty of jobs opportunities. Good weather. The city offers a warm climate, which is an ideal place for those who love and enjoy the sun. Good schools. Davenport offers a good school for those people that want to bring their family and raise here in Davenport. Now let's go with the comms, starting with the traffic. The city can get congested during tourist season, making it a little difficult during some hours. Limited public transportation. This city doesn't have enough public transportation, which will be a little inconvenient for those who don't have a car. And in general terms, is like that in Orlando. Associations and CDD. Because of the proximity of the Disney theme parks, the majority of the properties here in Davenport has HOA, in some cases, a CDD. The good thing about is the property we wanna make a tour today doesn't have a CDD. Even in a Davenport, there's still affordable houses. The prices here increase too much faster than the rest of the cities. And the last pro is definitely the close of the team parks and all of the attractions. Right now, we are just 30 or 45 minutes of Disney team park, Universal and SeaWorld, making a great opportunity for investors in this area. Even though this is a great location for investors, you might have a neighbor as an Airbnb or short-term rental in some communities. About this community, Aviana in a Davenport, is one of the most exclusive communities in this location. And the reason why is because there's so many amenities inside. As gated community, also they have a clubhouse behind me, resort and a pool style with a spa, fitness center, playground, beach volleyball, picnic area, and bike trail. So definitely this is a great, great option if you want to be in a community with everything inside. This Aviana community is for you with a little portion of HOA that you won't believe at the end of the video and no CDD at all.
Okay, about this uh, Margaret model behind me is a three bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms, uh, two car garage, a flex room, and a thousand nine hundred and sixty-six square feet with, with a little portion of HOA, which will cover all of the amenities in this exclusive community. Okay, let's get started with the first segment of today's video, which is uh, these exteriors of the property. And as you can see right now, I'm in the driveway. And this is not a regular driveway. We have uh, pavers here that's gonna extend up the property even more. So you can park right here, approximately three, four cars in this uh, section. And then you have two private garage in uh, this section, completing in total five or six cars in this uh, property. So now let's uh, get inside to take a look on this beauty okay before getting inside i'm going to show you guys that this is nice front porch with extra highs in ceiling this is really nice it still gives you a stand up like area in this house you have a really nice uh, garden in this area with a nice landscaping too so this is a definitely a plus in the entrance of every house so now let's go inside all right all right welcome family to this a new tour as soon as we get into this house immediately to my left side we won't find out this flex room this was at the model home in some point but now is it ready to move it in so that's why uh, there's a lot of like uh, my marketing materials around because it was part of the model home in some point. But as you can see, the good thing also about this house, the main areas of the house, we have ceramic tile through the main eye areas. And then we just have carpet in the rooms. Even though this is a flex room, you can convert as a you know four room if you want. So you have ceramic tile in this room as well. You have a double window with the screens. And then if we finish the first section into this hallway, we have the flex room. And then immediately next to it, we will get into the laundry section, laundry area, which is really huge. And remember, because this house is almost like 2,000 square foot. So this is pretty much the area is still with ceramic tiles on the flooring. We have the hooks connect for the wash and dry machine and the racks as well. So it's really nice because it's really spacious and you can like take advantage of this area too. Of course, it comes with doors and private lights. And then if I keep walking now to my right side, I will find out, first of all, the mall room, which is really nice because you can, especially in this section, summertime, you can just put in over there your umbrellas or your bags. And then it just immediately in the same section, we will find out the entrance of the two private garage. As you can see, pretty nice at this in space. Of course, this section comes up with the garage opener, which is really nice. Not all of the properties comes with it. So in this case, we have in this particular property. So this is pretty much the area and the section for the two car garage. So getting outside of this section, just in front of me is the kitchen, but now let's keep going into this section just to complete the two bedrooms in the shared bathroom. So let's start right away with the shared bathroom of this section. As you can see, it comes with corset a countertop. It's really nice, all of the white cabinets. This particular property comes with the top right there. Of course, the toilet as well. And behind this door, there's another extra room, extra space for just blankets, just for towels. Then in front of me, just in front of me, there's another extra storage just to, uh, with the wraps connecting already, just you can use your items or extra closet is a good idea too. And then just to my left side and on the front, there's like the two uh, bedrooms. So let's start right away with the first secondary room of this property, the full, full bedroom is really nice because as you can see, the flooring is carpet, but you have nice walk-in closet right there with all of the wraps connecting. Really good in a decent space. Important to mention this house comes with really nice high ceilings. And of course you have the nice also windows that allow natural light with the screen protection. 
and immediately next to this room we'll get into the secondary room of this house the second secondary room of this uh, house pretty similar to the other one the only difference is that this closet is a different it comes with double door and of course you have the rats in that section as well the same the same window and the same structure besides the closet Okay, passing out this second section, I will call the first section, then we have this second section, and then my third section will be the open concept kitchen, dining, and living area. So right now, as you can see, we have quartz corner toe throughout the entire uh, kitchen, really nice white cabinets with the chrome molding the all the way down, 42 inch cabinets with also really good finishes. This property comes with the styling and steel appliances. It comes with this washer, a stove, and a microwave, which is, you know, allow you a lot of, a lot of good style for this house. And then you have a glass of backsplash to that section too, which is really nice and decent. But the best thing about the kitchen is definitely the amazing pantry so guys you have walking pantry in this section really really decent space even more than enough for me it has all of the drafts connecting they take space and the chance advantage of every corner of this area so it's really decent and nice it's still having the same ceramic tile which is really good and then you have a really nice island all the way down that you can uh, put in like some spots like we'll say three or four spots for breakfast now you have the opportunity and to. then you have plenty plenty space for corner tops in the whole entire kitchen so and now stepping into the next section the next section of this uh, third part i will get into this uh, dining uh, section dining area so you have this section to install here your dining uh, table it will be like a four it will be six pops because you have the space for it's like plenty and nice space and you have also windows that allows natural and bright light to this house and then if i keep walking into this other section of this open concept we're getting into the living area which is really really nice because we have the high ceilings also we have the sliding doors with all of a natural light and great great view you have the opportunity to set up your entertainment center and this wall right here and just putting your um couch or your furnitures around this area matching with this color and then we came in out of this nice and good decent space for a cover lanai of course this section and this sliding doors comes with also a screen really nice because it will protect with every bag and then this is summer session. And then as you can see, we still have our pavers and the uh, lanai. So we have really good space to just enjoy the weather or just uh, sit in the world there, like relax, like reading a book is a good idea in this spot. And then if we step in out of that, we will get into the backyard. So right now, the good point about this lot is this is a premium lot. So we have just in that section, a pump retain water for the summer season but as you can see this property is really high so it's not sitting in any type of like flood so you don't need any flood insurance and again you have a plenty space if you want to do a pool as just the neighbor to my left side you can do that because you have the plenty space for it and of course that the property comes with really nice and structural uh, good uh, materials as block you have stucco you, you have also ceilings in the roof and of course water and so we're totally public so now let's go and take a look in the principal suite of this great and nice property and then finally getting into one of my favorite spots in every house which is the principal suite so as soon as we're getting into the principal suite we have one further walk-in closet so you will say margie but it's, it's not enough it's just one closet no we have two in this room actually this is the further walk-in closet that it comes with all of the wraps set up and connect already with private lights and private door on top of that we have tray ceilings in this uh, room which is really nice it's really elegant this is actually my second uh walk-in closet 
So you can pick up whatever you want between you or your partner or just this could be for your shoes and then for the, the clothes. It's really nice because you have really good space for the closet. And then if you come in into this section in the middle of the suite, we will get into the master or the principal bathroom of this room. Again, it comes up with a double vanity, fully uh, corset corner tops all the way down this section. We have several uh, cabinets, white cabinets with a lot of space in a both vanities. Of course, we have that private section for the toilet to my right side with private lights and doors as well. And then the good thing also about this house is that comes with a uh, walk-in shower. So the walk-in shower is really nice because they have all of the ceramic tiles and the majority of the walls and they have this uh, section here if you want to sit down, just relax, and stay there. It's a really good uh, point and idea too. And then you have, of course, the glass door coming with this uh, walk-in shower. So this is pretty much uh, the section I will say is really nice and a decent space for this uh, primary bathroom. So now let's uh, take a look on the amenities of this exclusive community and find out the numbers of uh, this uh, property and how you, my dear friend, can buy this one. my lovely YouTube family. We finished with the tour of a DJ great opportunity in one of the most exclusive communities in Davenport. Now, the asking price for this property is $409,990 with a little portion of HOA, which is included all of these and uh, many many more and it's just 165 dollars a month and uh, just zero dollars in cdd which is a uh, great and also on top of that this uh, builder is providing the great incentive i will say the best incentives right now in this market because they have a promotion for 4.75 rate for fha loan and 4.99 for conventional loan. And then on top of that is also providing 10,000 up to your closing cost. So definitely it's a great option for you. So now let's talk about the numbers and how you, my dear buyer, can buy this property in a Davenport. So now let's say that you qualify as an FHA primary resident with 3.5% down payment. You will need 14,350 for your down payment and take the chance for the promotion with 4.75 interest rate, three years mortgage, and the property taxes around 
$3,800 a year, homeowners insuring $8 a year, and of course, a HOA, which is $165, your total monthly payment will be $2,850. Of course, important to mention, with FHA, you have the PMI primary uh, mortgage insurance, which is $184 a month, and your principal and interest right now is $2,000. Now, if you qualify as a conventional loan with a 5% down payment, you will need 20,000, around 20,500 for your down payment. And of course, you will have to pay the PMI, which is a 2 150 a month the hoa is going to be the same 165 and of course that the taxes and insurance is going to be exactly the same just 320 a month for insurance and 80 dollars a month in homeowner uh, as well so in total with all of the numbers right here your mortgage and monthly payment will be 2905 yes it's a little different because Again, FHA have a different like protection suppliers, conventional has others, and depending of course of the type of loan that you get and your credit score as well. So now let's talk about VA loan and how you might do better and can buy this property here in Davenport. So now you don't have to bring any down payment to your purchase. But again, of course, your monthly payment will be a little bit higher because you don't have to bring zero dollars to your down payment. However, you have 10,000 up to your closing cost, which is a really beneficial if you don't want to bring too much cash to the closing table. So guys, thank you so much for staying. This is pretty much about the community. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this video helps to take the best decision about the market, about the good opportunities and incentives of this house. Of course, remember 4.75 rate, 4.99 and 10,000 to your closing cost. Thank you so much for joining me in another video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.